Hello YouTube, this is a video response to Lockonome's video titled Screencast. So, um, Lockonome or Chris Pirillo is looking for people to do videos for his YouTube channel. And he's, he's gonna like let the people do software reviews and uh, review websites and such. And basically do screencasts. So, I'm gonna apply for this now. So, Firstly, my name is Rizal Sadeli, also known as PC Pro Kids 7. The reason there is an S on that name is because um, this channel was actually made by me and my friend, but now, um, but because he didn't really do anything, I just said, yeah, I'll do it by myself. And that now stands for my second name, okay? So that's PC Pro Kids Sadeli 7, but it's still pronounced Kids. I record my videos at HD 720p. I. I uh, use Camtasia 6 to record my videos. I used to use Cam Studio, but now I have Camtasia, it's much, much uh, easier, better, because you can do zooms and add other effects to videos. I have Windows 7, I record my videos in Windows 7. Um, I don't have any Mac videos or Linux videos, because I just simply don't use them. And I'm very used to Windows, I am, I pretty much know Windows the ins and outs of everything, the registry services, um, processes, pretty much everything you can know about an operating system. I have 165 videos uploaded, let me just double check that, yeah 165, um, in two months and three days, so I do keep quite a record in my, in my brain, I, in my brain, I do keep quite a record, so that's uh, 165 videos in two months and three days 210 subscribers is how much subscribers I've achieved which is pretty uh, good considering I don't have any other internet background so I've pretty much just started on a YouTube channel and I just hope that this channel can grow especially through Locker Gnome that would be just amazing and I do most of my videos on freeware tips and personalization so I do freeware, um, my most recent video is on an application, pretty much two applications or a package called Taskbar Meters, and I also have something called a uh, the, Qu the Quick Tip series, which is where I show users like little one minute, two minute videos on little quick tips or tweaks that they can do to the operating system to make it run faster or maybe do something better. I also get lots and lots of subscribers asking me what what Firefox theme are you using and what Windows 7 theme are you using and I have to reply to them in videos because I just you know I'm overflowed with these sort of questions and I do lots of videos and personalization as well I have how to enable custom themes in every Windows operating system so I'll just uh, type that in here enable custom themes so as you can see I have it in Windows 7, <coughs> Windows Vista and Windows XP and that's pretty much me and my channel so I'm just gonna pause the video now and lead you on to this tutorial thanks for watching hello YouTube in this video I'll be showing you a really cool application called desktop media which allows you to have automatic drive icons on your desktop basically what it does is puts drives on your desktop even removable removable ones and if you do take them out and it, it will refresh it so you won't have a link to it on your desktop so it's a bit like the Mac and Ubuntu um, style thing on your desktop when you have a drive put it on your desktop when you remove it doesn't have a link and um, that's pretty much it so a link to this website here will be in the descri description go ahead and download it and install it I already have it installed What's it called? Desktop media. Uh, open it up. And here are the drives in my system. So I've already configured a few of, of the options. I've checked fixed and CD ROM. Uh, removable is the only one checked by default, I think. And you can have the link mode and the miscellaneous uh, as well, which I haven't changed. Uh, I think symbolic is where it shows kind of a folder icon with the contents of the fold of the folder inside the icon as well and shortcut uh, soft links is pretty much what I have at the moment I'm not sure what show maximized is if you do know what it is then please comment and this is what it looks like so I'm just gonna unplug one of these drives here 
remove and as you can see it's gone and let's plug it in again oh. and now there you go so it's really quick and easy to to use because you know and just open this up and there you go and um, that's pretty much it um, desktop media thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again